Hey there. Um, so I wanted to do a series on creating a, a schedule in Microsoft Project. Um, I, I did a se series for Primavera P6, and uh, it seems like people would like to, to see one in Microsoft Project. So I wanted to show you, um, I, have, I have this list of activities. It's going to be a really small schedule, but what you see is I have my activity names. Some of these are like uh, work breakdown structure headings. You know, they're like the buckets that the activities are going to go under. For instance, milestones. I don't want that to be an activity. I actually want like these milestones to be children of the of uh, that that heading. Likewise, like my prepare and submit items. I actually want those to be children underneath. Uh, procurement and I want earthwork and structure and all, all these other prepare and submits to be children of that prepare and submit so kind of get see how I have this list of activities I have the durations and I want to bring that over into into uh, Microsoft project well the nice thing about that which is so much easier than than uh, Primavera P6 is I can literally just copy this list of activities and durations and I can paste them right into my schedule as long as the columns are the same. So you can see here, I've gone ahead and I just pasted that in and it's already um, starting to, to take the data and do something with it. It's you know saying this is a 10 day activity and it's scheduling it for the next 10 days from today's date. Um, so now that I have my activities in Microsoft Project, um, I want to create groupings so that um, you know I can define where my activities are and then the groupings or the sections that those activities are going to go under. So let's go ahead and I want milestones to be underneath baseline schedule. And you can see all of a sudden it, it starts creating groupings just as I go. I want these three activities underneath milestones, so I'll indent that twice. Procurement, I want that underneath baseline and then these prepare and submits I want those to be children to procurement and then I want these three prepare and submits oops, to be underneath um, my, my other prepare and submit grouping so you can see it's really it's just like I was indenting on Microsoft Excel um, it's the same concept so here I will indent those twice to get them underneath procurement and then I'll I'll indent these guys underneath to do review and approve uh, same thing with our fab and deliver and we're gonna do our construction as well so construction I'm gonna do let's go ahead and um, let's take all of our construction and our close out items we're going to indent them once because we want to underneath my baseline schedule project and then we're going to take our building one items and we're going to indent those underneath construction and then i want all of my construction activities to be underneath building one and then i want these two guys underneath uh, construction so now my schedule is starting to kind of take shape I have uh, the organization all laid out and now the next thing I need to do is make sure my task mode is correct because right now it's set to manually scheduled which basically means that it's going to ignore the relationships that are in the schedule and uh, yeah I want it driven by the actual relationships. so let's set it to auto schedule and then I'm going to hold my shift key click the bottom here and I'm going to say fill down and then that'll switch everything into auto scheduled. And, um, and then now we can actually start adding some relationships onto these. So relationships is also a really easy thing in Microsoft Project. So say for instance, I wanna go notice to proceed. Um, I wanna start there. If I hold the control button on my keyboard, I can click the sequence of activities, how I want them linked together. So I'm going to go notice to proceed and I'm going to hold my control key and I'm going to go prepare and submit earthwork, review and approve earthwork. And then I want that to drive straight to my earthwork activity. 
Um, and then I want to go earthwork, foundation, structure, envelope, roofing, interior build out, commissioning, and final punch list. All right, so I, I went in that order. And now what I want to do is I just say link the selected activities. And you'll notice there's a this predecessors column and you can see that it added the relationships between those at tasks. So now the predecessor to earthwork is row three, which is the notice to proceed. The predecessor to review and approve earthwork is uh, row eight, which is here. Uh, that So it sequenced everything exactly how I wanted it to. So the next sequence I want to do is notice to proceed. And I want to go structural steel, structural steel, and then fab and deliver structural steel. And then I want to make sure that that fab and delivery is tied to my structure. So let's go ahead and uh, either I can right click and say link here or I can go up here and I can say link. So now those relationships are added. I'm going to go notice to proceed for my last set here. I'm going to go notice to proceed roofing, roofing, roofing. Tie that to roofing down here. I'm going to link those guys. Oops, that is not the right link. So let's go link up here. Boom. All right, so now that's linked. I want my building weather tight to be driven by my roofing activity. So that's row 24. What I can do here is under predecessors, I can just type 24 and that is going to make my roofing the predecessor to the weather tight. Um, and then the last thing I want to do is I want to make sure my substantial completion falls after final punch list is complete. So again, I'm just going to put 28 under my um, predecessor and now you can see we've really quickly created a schedule. I can, here's my Gantt chart over here. I can uh, zoom in and out with that timeline, you know, so you'll notice uh, now I can see more of the timeline here as I start to zoom out like that. So that gives you like a really quick start at a Microsoft Project. Very easy scheduling software to use. And uh, maybe in the next video we can update this schedule. Maybe we'll add some cost to it. Um, let me know what you would like to see in Microsoft Project. Um, if you ever want to get a hold of me, come to our website, pjmss.com. I do uh, tu uh, tutoring, like one-on-one -on -one tutoring with people. Um, so happy to help out there. And yeah, come to the site and check out our comparisons tool tools as well. We have um, Primavera P6 comparison tool and uh, Microsoft Project comparison tool where you can see all the changes between between files. So come check it out. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. All right, take care.